So I was just thinking about my Nazarite vow and how um, I waited till I got married for to have sex. And um, I was 20 years old. And anyway, so I was just thinking about the, the wine thing, too, because I never had a sip of drink until I was like 36. And um, I should not have done it, you know. But anyway... It's the worst decision of my life. But anyway, um, when I was in junior high, I ran with uh, at the Junior Olympics at the Boise State University on the blue track. And I remember right, running beside um, Carl Lewis. And one of my uh, one of my heroes was Zola Budd, and she ran barefoot. Isn't that cool? She wasn't under any advertising or anything. But anyway, um, I now understand a little bit about when Jesus turned the, the water into wine at the wedding. He did this because his mother, you know, wanted to bless the, the bride and the groom because they'd ran out of wine. And Jesus was like, well, it's not time yet, mother. But he did it anyway, just to honor his mother because she wanted to do that. Well, then I was thinking about how how my vow to not have sex till I was married was was for my protection and to uh, so I wouldn't be exploited. Or even if I would have drank alcohol ahead of time, ahead of time that was the original date rape drug, you know, alcohol is. And how at a wedding, it makes sense because I would be under the protection of my family and my husband. And if I did, have alcohol that time, which I didn't. I didn't have alcohol at my wedding, but um, but it probably would have been okay because I would have been under my groom's protection and my family's protection. I wouldn't have been exploited or date raped or um, or actually desecrated or what happened to Samson? He was exploited. His weaknesses were exploited, and God's raising up judges, and we're going to rid the world of wrong and sin. In Jesus' name, amen.